Hey, uh, I'm back to give you an update on the C4 Corvette build. Um, as you can see here, I got the new wiring harness in for the 24X LS. Um, I pulled the old one out. I have, the, I have it run through here. I'm gonna actually clean this up, but I just run it beside this harness. Um, that harness is for like all the lights and all the other stuff that I'm still gonna use. Um, but it's pretty easy to run that through the firewall. Um, so that's pretty exciting. I got my intake, just a truck intake because I have a cowl hood, so it'll still fit. Um, fuel rail, throttle body. I have a, I ordered a throttled up body adapter um, so I can get that uh, four bolt to match up to this three bolt, um, like an earlier throttle body. Um, there was a crack in my cylinder head on the other one, so after all the work of uh, lapping the valves and stuff um, there was a crack down in here um, which explains why I had so much sludge on it but I got another head from an earlier model truck so this should not have the issue that the 05 to 06 heads give the 706s from 05 to 06 have a tendency to crack down here if they're from a certain casting facility um, some other stuff I have going on here is the motor. Um, this is the truck uh, balancer, but I have a box somewhere laying around um, where I have an F body one. Um, so I need to do either get F body um, accessory brackets or I'll have to put, uh, I'll have to like mock everything up and do some custom brackets on the water jet or something. Um, I also got some new parts in the mail yesterday. Um, I was gonna do an unboxing, but I just got too excited and rushed through it. But um, I have my quick time bell housing uh, for ZF6 transmission. And I had to turn this down at work. Um, this is for my transmission. Uh, the output, the input shaft for the transmission goes through here. It actually didn't fit in here. It was tight, and that's a common issue with these. Um, just the manufacturing tolerances between QuickTime and uh, GM. But I stuck that in the lathe, turned it down, so I'll be able to get that in. And another thing that I'm pretty excited about, I wasn't expecting it until tomorrow, but um, I got some parts from Michigan Motorsports. Uh, they're not too far from where we're at in Maine, so parts come pretty quick. I was expecting them tomorrow, um, but they came in a day early, which is great because I'm leaving to Vermont tomorrow. Go visit some family. Um, but yeah, let me get you set up here and I will do an unboxing. While I unbox this, so I'll explain to you kind of what, I, what happened and why I need to order these parts. So I was gonna use um, stock, uh, so I was going to use stock rockers and push rods for now until maybe I bent the push rod or broke a rocker. Um, but after I cleaned all the sludge off my push rods, um, I found an issue with them. Um, started looking and I don't know if you can see that. Should be able to pretty clearly. But uh, yeah, super screwed. Um, that was from probably a Part of that was from having coolant from the cracked head uh, in the oil, lack of lubricant. Um, about half of uh, the push rods were like that. So I had to end up ordering some new push rods. So I got some, um, it's pretty much stock length, but they're like 7.4 inch um, chromoly push rods right here just your run-of-the-mill push rods um, for Michigan Motorsports but they're pretty, pretty exciting um, at least I know that I shouldn't have an issue here especially since I'm running the pop 1219 uh, valve springs you have the extra uh, seat pressure spring pressure um, and I know that, that can cause issues so I have these I'll have to clean them up get the rest of the engine together today 
and I ended up getting some stock style LS uh, rockers, but they have the up upgraded trunnion bearing in them. Um, I think they just upgraded the needle bearings in there. And this, just feeling these are a lot tighter. Um, I'm not sure if this is completely from wear or not. It's, it's hard to see, but they probably have like eight to 10 thousandths of an inch, eight to 10 thou of play up and down uh, where these needles are real loose. Um, whereas these ones with the upgraded trunnions, there's, there's gotta be some play in there, but I can't feel any play. It's probably so many ten thousandths of an inch or something. Um, but these were $200, I think, $199 for the set. I got all 16 and the um, push rods were like $97, so not too bad. Uh, cheap uh, insurance, I guess, on my part. Uh, my buddy Cortland and I, uh, well, he lapped these valves to the heads, well, uh, well, to the valve seats, while I removed the harness and stuff from that last night and started tearing apart this transmission. Um, so, I'll kind of tell you a little bit about that, why I had to get the quick time bell housing. Um, so, this is my stock housing. Um, this is actually designed for a, uh, it's designed for a 153 tooth flywheel, which is a lot smaller than uh, what's going in it. It's the LS uh, flywheel, which is a 168 tooth. But we're getting closer and closer to the first start on this thing. Um, I'll be able to drop the engine in early next week with my um, valley plate cover. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, be doing a lot of uh, fabrication on the exhaust system and the intake running up through here, the turbo. Got to figure out if I'm going to uh, have the turbo kind of peeking out of the hood a little bit or if I'm going to um, try everything I can to keep the turbo under the hood. Um, the original plan, um, so we'll see how that goes, but if you guys have any advice or anything like, anything you wanna see with this thing, other, other than some sweet burnouts, because that's definitely gonna happen, um, let me know, shoot me comments or whatnot, or um, yeah, find a way to get a hold of me, and um, if you have better ways of doing this stuff, let me know. I'm going to be doing a wire, not really a wire tuck at all, but like I'll be cleaning up the wiring a lot. And it is a friggin' mess. And I'm not, that's not my strong suit. Uh, so, anywho, uh, thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully the next one will involve like a time lapse of the engine assembly and all that good stuff. And then... Um, a first start uh, would be great. So thanks for checking out my video guys, and we'll see you in a week or so. Take it easy.